Today on the Mandroid Show. T-Mobile users. <laughs> Who's buying one? The Moto G is here and everybody's excited, but wait, it does not have kick -Kat? Samsung is finally using those brains of theirs. Google Experience Launcher for everyone. <laughs> is November over yet? My face is itchy. Ah. What's happening, my precious Android friends? Welcome to Friday's episode of The Mandroid Show. I'm Dave, of course, your Mandroid host. Follow me down there and all that social media stuff to listen to the intelligent words that I have to say. Yeah, I love all you guys for clicking in, so let's get started. Yes, the Moto G is finally officially here and cool. Well, yeah. Now, of course, it wasn't supposed to be spectacular. It's supposed to be a budget-friendly phone, and holy crap, is it a budget-friendly phone. You can get yourself a Moto G off contract for 180 bucks. That is awesome because you get all those Moto, those Moto X features that we saw, the active display, the voice controls, all that. You get all that in here in a small package, and guess what? This phone's gonna get Kit Kat before any of us, before any of us do. Which they promised that for both the Moto X and the Moto G. I believe soap tests are already beginning, or at least the invites got sent out for the Moto X users that are part of that Motorola feedback plan. But yes. I mean, all the specs are pretty much what we already knew, but yeah, you can get yourself a phone, this phone, the 8 gigabyte version for 180 bucks, and I forgot what the 16 gigabyte version is. You can't use the Moto Maker to design, you know, you can't utilize that to design your Moto G, but they have these Moto, Moto shells is what they call them, and they have like, I don't know, a bunch of colors too, so you still have options for colors. Let me know if you plan on getting a Moto G. I mean, us diehard Android users I are not going to really look at it, but I mean, we could see what they're trying to accomplish here, and it would be a good gift. I mean, it's not going to be released till January, I think that's what they said, but hey, at least you're, you know, we've got a lot going on in that little tiny package for a really small price. T-Mobile users, have you gotten your Nexus 5 yet? Okay, good. Are you going to buy me one? No, that sucks. Yes, you can pick yours up for the price of $450. Yes, that seems that's $100 more than it is on Google Play, but the only thing is they have it in stock. Google Play doesn't. Also remember, you can do that payment plan where you just have to put $41 down and some change, and then you make $17 payments a month, add it to your bill, so that's not a bad deal either. I know some people are like, I'm not going to do that payment plan crap, but... You know what, when you don't have the money right then and there, and you join the jump program where you can upgrade in six months, hmm, kind of worth it in my, uh, in my eyes, I think. Let me know if you picked up an Nexus 5 and I will let you know how jealous I am of you. <laughs> Samsung! I know I give a lot of crap to Samsung with the whole plastic thing, but I stopped. My little plastic campaign stopped, it's okay guys. I don't do it anymore, and because a lot of people, the Sammy fanboys, were getting a little mad at me. But finally, Samsung is using those noggins of theirs, because let's face it, the Galaxy Round, <laughs> That was just fucking stupid. But now we got this concept right here, the wraparound display. We've actually already seen, you know, mock-ups of this where you have that little slant on the side and you could utilize that for notifications or anything. They recently sent in an application to get a patent for this little concept right here and it's so awesome. I'm really digging this because you could do so much with this. If you're reading a book, you can actually have tabs on that little part right there to skip chapters. Going through your contacts, you can do the same thing. When, you're, when your phone is charging, you can see the battery level right there. You can see notifications, and you can unlock your device. That's freaking awesome. I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm really actually looking forward to this. This is the whole design of the phone looks cool. And according to Bloomberg, these devices with these displays might be out as soon as next year. So I guess we'll see what happens. I'm sure at CES, Samsung's gonna show, show us something. They showed us that UM display back in, uh, the recent, uh, back in January at the at CES, where they show demo videos, little commercials of where they want to take the flexible displays. Maybe they'll have a prototype for this concept. That'd be cool because I'm really digging this. Like this is something I can get behind. And I'm like I said, I'm not really too fond of Samsung products, but I kind of like this. HTC gods are mad. And finally, Google now saw a huge update the other day where, okay, this is Google and their crazy shenanigans. Because remember when they said that they weren't, they had no plans to release the Google Experience Launcher for any of the other devices besides the Nexus devices. And then <laughs> we get an update and now everybody can have it. Yes, if you are rocking Android 4.1 and up, you can get the Google Launcher Experience on your phone. You could say, okay, Google, when you're on your home screen to activate the voice controls. It's awesome, guys, I'm telling you. Like, I usually always go back to Nova, and I have yet to go back to Nova. I'm still in the Google Experience 
launcher just because it's so sexy. If you want to get it, we have the downloads for you. Also, guys, we created a new website too for strictly for Google Apps, for GAPS. And it's called gapsearly.com and we have all the latest APKs for these Google Apps. I'm going to put it down there in the description area for you to click on. So just in case you don't have all the current Google Apps, I mean, I'm talking about your, your Google Plus APKs, your Google Now, your Play Stores. It's all there. Anything that's Google app related it's in there check it out make sure you're current with all your apks and favorite it because we're we constantly updated with every update so <laughs> we love you well all right guys that's all the android news i wanted to talk about time for that hot sexy nerdy portion of the show now last week i had you guys vote on the recent hot nerdy girls of the week there were 10 of them and some of you guys voted and a lot of you didn't it's okay because last time i did it i was doing a giveaway and this time I didn't have anything to give away, so I just asked you guys to vote. So not as many people voted this time as they did last time. I wish I had something to give away to you guys because I love all of you guys for clicking in. It just warms my heart when I see you guys giving me nice comments and the views and the likes are way up and the dislikes are way down. Of course, there's always going to be dislikes and there's always going to be those comment trolls. Anyways, out of the previous 10 hot nerdy girls of the week, you guys voted for her and I think it has something to do with that ass. And you guys voted for Gina Darling. Woo! I mean, it really is. That is sad. Oh my god. The thing is just, you can just bounce quarters off of it. So now Gina Darling will go up against reigning mega hot nerdy girl of the week, Meg Turney. So we're going to show you three pictures of each. So enjoy yourself, guys. Again, make sure your pants don't fall down because it could happen. It's a lot of sexy headed your way right now, okay? All right, here you go. Who do you think is the mega hot nerdy girl of the week? Is it Meg Turney or Gina Darling? Vote down below in the balls area. Even if I'm not giving away something, man, just throw a name down there real quick. It'll take you like three seconds. It's not, it's not hard. Well, after seeing those pictures, it might. I'm deaf. Don't go. No. Well, all right, guys, hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. And make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. And also subscribe to my other channel, The Film Junkie, where I do movie news, film reviews, and those autocorrect fail videos that everybody seems to like. I also said on uh, Tuesday show. I'm gonna do a rant on the Google Plus ranting videos. I have done it, I just haven't edited it together yet because it's, it's kind of lengthy. <laughs> you know, I, once I started going, I just couldn't, I couldn't stop. And yeah, like I said, it was a rant video on the rant videos. Like I'm totally, you know, it's not even an issue, this whole thing. And people are making it like, you know, someone walked up and just like kicked their dog right in the face. That will hopefully be coming up later, if not tomorrow for sure. So look for that. And also visit my uh, separate websites, autocorrectfailness.com for those funny autocorrect videos. You'll have a laugh. I'm just letting you guys know. I also have the screenshots too if you want to just read the screenshots. And of course, check out filmjunkie.com for all your latest movie news for all the crap I like. Well, Alright guys, I am David, your Mandroid host, and this has been The Mandroid Show. Seriously, I told myself I wasn't going to do November, No Shave November this year, and look what happened. Yeah, all this hair just went... <laughs> it's okay. I think I can manage. It's getting really itchy. Where, where are we? November what? Ah, <laughs> crap.